Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be, or there's going to be two different videos today. I'm going to be recording this one as the first one. So this one will probably be, uh, I would say this one will probably be like a 4 p.m. release, 3 p.m. release Easter time. And then we're going to release another video. People asked me to review uh, Moa Bumayang's video uh, or gameplay because people really, really like his gameplay because his tactics are very, very unique. So we'll be sure to check that out afterwards. But this is going to be... Uh, or earlier, it's whatever order I upload these videos in. Uh, but this is going to be the second leg of the Tex versus Gorilla game. The reason why I'm doing the second leg is because people in the comment section asked uh, to re to also review the second leg because of because there was uh, unfortunate goals and people want my opinion on whether the goals are unfortunate or not. So, um, given the circumstances, we're going to check out uh, the game. Obviously, two very good players again. So. Let's get started. So let's just make sure I have the audio for you guys right here. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Three to two. He went there. He was two nil up on Christoph Walmart Jabbler. Went, went two, two and two. two. Didn't leave himself in a good position at all there, Richard. And here we go then. Leg number two. Game number two out of these two. So in terms of huge in terms of team, you guys already know. If you guys watched the first leg, we explained the different types of teams that people are using with Patrick Vieira, Rude Hullet, so on and so forth. Um, yeah. Okay. UK players, both with huge followings from all around the world. However, the so again, Tex with aggressive defending. So when he pushes out a player like Rude Hullet, his, his another player occupies his spot. Moment, it's Gorilla that has the advantage at two goals to one. Can Gorilla di dictate, I should say, the pace of this game? If he can stop Tex from He's, creating the chances yeah. that he did in the first leg. And exactly the same performance from Gorilla again. He's going through. We always say about how big this first goal first is. Time finesse. Again, that yeah. Yeah, oh, there finesse. There's that goal. We said I am pulling that first. So, yeah, so that that's that, that was definitely a given right there. Stop Tex from creating the chance. The angle, when the player is coming from that angle, so for you guys, it's, he's coming from this angle downwards. That's a first time finesse and a half right there. You got to do it there. Um, yeah. So, again, Tex... Aggressively leg. pushes out Alexandro here, and right exactly there. The Uses Patrick Vieira to go occupy the spot of Alexandro. Has the middle wide open here, so now as Patrick Vieira is playing left back, his Alexandro is down, so no CDM in the position. Um, he makes Again, a pass here to Rude Hullet. Pele almost intercepts it. We always say about how big this first, first time pass, and then again the two CDMs not being in position. First time finesse from Ronaldinho results in the goal. In the game. There's that finesse, oh, there it and is. We said how important that first goal could be to try and dictate the game, as you mentioned. It's only taken three minutes, and it's Griller who scores that one. Straight back to business rim, a little sip of water. Three went up on aggregate, and that goal is huge for him. Just to get in Texas mind and say, right. See get past these ones. Bro, it's that attacking <clears throat> style that we're so used to seeing from you. I'm surprised more people don't use Ronaldinho in their teams because Ronaldinho has it all to be. Ronaldinho is one of the most meta players, right? He's got the weak foot. He has the skill moves. He has the height. He has the physical dribbling, pace, shooting, and passing. Um, so it's very confusing to me that people don't use it more often. I, know he's being I don't really see Ronaldinho used that much. But he is very expensive too, so. But in, in, in relation to like other icons... Talking about as well, Richard, about how they're so influential. Hullet's physical presence over Pele is going to get that ball back. We asked the question, is it going to be revenge or is it going to be repeat of that second round fixture in the Swiss style? Really smart play here by Gorilla. Sure. So what he does here, question, is it going to be revenge or is it going he to does the ball roll touch to get into a better angle. So right here, ball roll, touch backwards. Ball roll, you do the ball roll to see how your opponent's defense commits to you. And then you act off of that commitment. So when he goes upwards, he realizes a player that's going to be in that general area. So he spams a pass backwards uh, to Rude Hullet. Right Over here, uh, Tex does well to defend because be he wanted to use, utilize this space right here. He wants to utilize this space right here. Uh, so while using Patrick Vieira, Tex transitions upwards and defends really nicely. Because right that's the area that he had to block. He's getting his revenge, but there's a long way left. Do you think, okay, and this is just thrown out there, Tex winning that game 8-2, do you feel like Tex would come into this game a little bit more confident? Because he's won that game already. He's, he's beaten oh, yeah, him 8 goals to 2. Do you think that can go negative? Overcommitment there by the fullback, leaving the space. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. That's very, very dangerous defending. 
can go negatively though against these. I'm actually surprised that he overcommits here, to be honest with you. Very, very surprised. This should be a goal by Gorilla. Oh, yeah, my goal is do you think that can go... Overcommitment with a fullback, don't blame him for that. That's a game mechanic. But this one I definitely blame him for. Maldini pushing up right here. Negatively, though, against you sometimes. Maybe, yeah. Leaving, leaving a player like Ronaldo in the box like that by himself against the fullback, not an ideal situation. All right, now I'll tell you one more. Can... That should have been a goal, 100%. Of the ball. You're thinking somehow, oh, nine, off the line, yes. Yeah, well, that should have been a goal. Sandro there just clears it out for a throw, and that could have been worse. As that ball got closer and closer to the line, your voice went higher and higher. <laughs> I was just thinking how many how, how much how Oh see that's the that's the half croquetta acceleration in the opposite direction right here. Like I was explaining in the other Where video. Is, is that ball closer and closer? So I'll slow this down for you guys. Your just do that real quick. Right here, you can see right there. Half croquetta acceleration to the other side. Because a full croquetta they will do side forward, but a half croquetta they will do side acceleration to the side. It kind of just pushes the ball in a better position for you. Uh, when you do it. Where could I go there? Out for a corner now, but come on, Sex. He's being tested here now. Gorilla playing some fantastic FIFA. Whipped into that back post. It's a corner that he's used. Oh, he's done all the way across. Ooh. Nearly. All he there. tucks it. Tex does really well here. So this is what he does, right? Gorilla likes to use uh, the player in the box to hit the corners. But I think he, I think at some point he should have just done, it, done them just randomly because... What he does here, right? He tries to throw Tex off here because he knows that Tex is using his goalkeeper to go and block the certain people in the box, right? So watch this right here. So he selects Ronaldo, right? And then he wants to go and make this general run over here so that if De Gea goes to follow him, Ronaldo will probably win the ball because De Gea has to run backwards, right? So that's why he runs all the way to the bottom right here so that he can get an empty net essentially if... if Tex follows him with De Gea, but Tex does well to not follow him and just allow his CDMs to defend properly. And that's Patrick Vieira just being an absolute god. Tex does, Tex, I like the way Tex, that's something that people should definitely learn. So if someone is using someone in the box for a corner, got to use that manual goalkeeping. I'm totally cool with manual goalkeeping being a thing for corners and and even crosses at some degree so that headers could be as less effective as possible because there's no skill towards it. it's completely random Ex the, the only crosses that take more skill is the one that gorilla did uh when tex aggressively pushed maldini upwards because he pushes his maldini aggressively upwards right he didn't block that general area that he had to block um he gets very fortunate not to concede there but there's certain ones where they just whip it into the box and they score got to be more ways to avoid those Right, because the, unless EA add a skill element to it, I like manual goalkeeping just for that very reason. Not used to a performance like this. Someone's really going up against him. As you're talking, one more tap. Ooh. Ronaldo, back to Vieira. Ronaldinho. Finesse right. For that finesse, gonna play the finesse the other way on the rebound. rebound. Surely he's in. Yes, it is. He's onside as well. Ronaldinho, he's looking for that finesse. Gonna play the finesse the other. Over here, he doesn't hit it in the green. That's why he doesn't he doesn't score because R9 is definitely going to score that. Very fortunate on the deflection for sure. Very for, for, very very fortunate. Yeah, perfect start for Gorilla in this game. Couple of big goals, one from Ronaldinho, and then this one quite fortunate. He did get the rebound. You've got to follow it in, and that's what CR7 does do. Attack positioning off the charts. From that one just nestles the back of the net, however, hit the post, and luckily enough for him, Cristiano Ronaldo is in that position just to tap it in for him. Very good by Tex here, Re realizes that he aggressively pushed the uh, he uh, Gorilla doesn't do it, the fullbacks do it again, game mechanic in FIFA. Luckily so, oh no, he actually does aggressively push. I would never aggressively push this area, you gotta hold that area right there because then he'll just dribble upwards with the Zebu and then make that Y pass that position, or that through ball pass. And have all that space to work with. You can see the tweets coming down Good the fake shot turn, really beautiful there. Maybe that Good pass. Week is what he needed as a wake up call. Went out in Swiss style form, and that is not gorilla esque at all by any means. Pass upwards, pass yeah, upwards. Like Utilize the fullback the maybe. Make that run. Yeah. Pass it back. Yeah. In that group of uh, death, group of that death Bullock was in. Aggie, Bullock and Rocky. Bullock obviously flying that five at the back and. 
he you don't you don't ever want to overcommit your CDM in this position. So when he's using Patrick Vieira here, he realizes this, right? When he's running, he's like, oh, don't really want to commit Patrick Vieira this situation. So that's why he wants to try, try to drag back and go upwards. I would probably do a ball roll upwards just to pass it back to the fullback, kind of get the players back in position and then transition from there. It's very dangerous to do that. That's why. Full, yeah. So press after possession loss. Right here, that's what happens. When you're in a situation like this, you gotta pass it to your full, your far fullback. Look at the pressure, hunting impact from Gorilla. Three goals are needed by Tex. There's still a lot of time in this game. Do not get me wrong. There's plenty of time. That's just, that's just mechanics. That's just stupid mechanics right there. Let me see this. Yeah, that's that's not his fault at all. That happens all the time. It's the little things now. It's the little things. You've got to keep your head set. Nothing see no, he doesn't. Because this is a stupid game mechanic. Your players should never do that. That happens all the time. See, it's the little things now. It's the little things. You've got to keep your head set. Nothing seems to be going right for Tex at the minute. I think one goal. Potentially stats get back in his groove. We see that he's so good. Utilizing the fullback, very good. Use that middle. That's a finesse shot angle. That deserves a goal. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Beautiful. Beautiful. Doesn't go for the finesse. I love, love that he sees this pass to Ronaldo right here. Because Courtois... Gorilla, Gorilla pos uh, positions him to go and block that far post finesse, right? Does he does he make this pass or is it deflected shot? I think that's a driven pass, right? Let me see. Yeah, it's a driven pass. Lovely goal. goal. I like that goal a lot. He can score a goal. He's dangerous. That's a nice goal. So driven pass, yeah? Yeah. Beautiful. I like that a lot. That's a good finish. Oh, love that. That's beautiful. This is um, this is skill moves you need five star skillers for. Um, five star skillers. It makes a big difference for certain transition and skill moves because you increase your momentum on the ball when you have it, right? So you'll see what Gorilla does here. He does the scoop turn on the first touch, five star, right? He does the ball roll and then the, the Rabona touch, right? You'll see right here. Ball roll, Rabona touch. Ball roll to see how his defender reacts, and then Rabona touch to get momentum on the ball again, right? And then transition from that. Quick dribbling, over commits with the CDM, right? Can pass it to his striker, and then work from there. Dominant UK players at the moment. Qualify for five out of five events that he could qualify for, including the, the three foot Champions Cup and the two LQEs. I like that he went for an actual um, time finish, like a time finish shot. record if he can uh, somehow. Yeah. So this is the ideal situation. Like when you're over here, you see how your player's making that run right there? Fullback over committing. EA, fix that because it's annoying as hell. Uh, what he can do here is he can make this first time pass here and then do a first time Y pass downwards. But you can also play this little game with your opponent where you either decide to make that Y pass or utilize that space in the middle. So that's what he does here. He makes that pass. He goes to the block that Y pass uh, to Pele. Real uh, Gorilla realizes that, doesn't overcommit, runs in the middle, utilizes the space. Got no easy task in front of them. Gorilla, the player he is, the, the hero in the FIFA seniors as well. He's in behind with Lovely Pele. Ball. This is Pele now. Don't overcommit. Yeah. Good try. Over there with Pele, you can't. You have to. You have to play to his strengths, right? So with Pele, his dribbling is really quick, but he has no physical presence. A defender will always win that engagement over the attacker. Came from Maldini, 86 pace. From First time pass. First time pass. Utilize that middle. That's really unlucky, actually. Let me see this. Crazy to think as well that Gorilla is still a free agent. Makes a wide pass. Let me see his angles. Yeah.
Yeah, that's what you pay the big bucks for right there with Maldini, man. Because that, that Y pass is a really good Y pass from Tex. Does some damage in this tournament. I'm sure we'll have a number of organizations just queuing up for him with the earth. The offers. Here he comes now, Pele. Back inside, he's going to look for the edge of the box if he can. Instead, we'll take the finesse off the post on the rebound. rebound. Every single time, we said how important Tex is going. Does he hit the green here? If he hits the green, because of the game mechanics of the game, he deserves to score this. And if Tex doesn't move his goalkeeper, again, deserves to score this. Now, Pele. Back inside, he's going to look for the edge of the box if he can. No movement from the goalkeeper. Green time finesse. So we'll take the finesse off the post on the rebound. rebound. Every single time we set out important. I just don't like the finesse shots. Like, it, it hurts my soul to say that, like, he deserves to score that because the time finesse shot is effective. But you never deserve to score a rebound. But he does hit it in the green. That is an angle with a really beast player in Pele with a good weak foot to hit a green time finesse. It should be going into the back of net because there was no movement from Tex with the goalkeeper. Again, another stupid thing. Time finesse and moving from the goalkeepers in regular play, out of here, right? But he doesn't do it, right? So because he doesn't move his goalkeeper because he predicts a regular shot, probably like near post or something, he doesn't block that far post finesse, right? So Ronaldo gets the rebound from that. This opening 30 minutes has delivered four Competitive FIFA, ladies and gentlemen. Four goals and the attack from Gorilla has been insane. Yeah, really nice little finesse there from Pele. I was expecting to play back to the edge. Again, very fortunate that the rebound off the post has... I really just... On this EA. Goalie movement is fantastic for like crosses and corners, right? Love it. But for regular play, when you guys get rid of your finesse shots, for the love of God, take it out, man. Oh, my God. Occasion, the other Ronaldo first game was great because it wasn't like it was utilized maybe like four or five times like the whole fin the finesse shot goalkeeper movement meta that's you know but this game like it's happening too much now like it's it's just it's stupid that that's the skill gap although following in from close range and two rebounds two goals for gorilla right place at the right time and text just paused it right there he's going to be making a change you can see gorilla happy with the 4 2 3 1 Instructions could be full back cross it. Third goal to put it finished. Text there, of course, up against Jock San, who's an insane player, number one in the those global series rankings on PlayStation. Text number one number on the in, Xbox. Number one in the world. Number Jock one in the San. world, yeah. Proved that as well last week. That's a foul. Put a lot of pressure on him and proved how good he is. He's gonna do a layoff shot. Probably a layoff shot. Oh, free kick tactic. Oh. Goes for a shot there outside the boot. Oh. Edge of the box. Goes for a he didn't go for the free kick tactic? Never seen a Bro. Edge of the box. Goes for a shot there outside the That's box. some space right there, man. Blocked. Attack not over yet, though. Vortex Pele. Back to Hullet. Tries to just force that one through, and Grilla just soaks up the pressure once again. Look at that run. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, he just stopped slightly, and Pele's left to chase. Yeah, Pele. Chasing shadows. Right there, unfortunately, that ball down the line. I think he's Gotta go backwards, yeah. Utilize the space on the sides, in the middle, yeah. Middle again. Middle again. Look for R9, he's looking for the finesse there. I can see Sabio. Just in that little bit of space. I mentioned how good Tex is at crosses. He's so good at it as well. From these positions of trying to get that ball into the box, he can be very unpredictable and needs to keep his composure now. He needs three goals. We'll repeat it again. Gets the goal before yeah, he's trying to work that space in the middle right now. Why pass? Beautiful. Pass again. Upwards. I don't know which player they'll be marking, but... Tex needs to watch his, like, fullbacks, man. Because his fullbacks are letting him down a lot in terms of the overcommitment. When he, when, in certain areas when he's not doing it himself, he's letting him, he's, they're letting him down a lot. Really good spot there from Gorilla to try and fizz that ball. First time pass, first time pass. Five pass. There it is. Utilize that space on the sides. Maybe cut back in the middle. Cut back inside. Where's he going to play? Goes back to the edge of the box. Nest shot angle. Doesn't want it. Beautiful. Should score that. Nice. Deserves that. Deserves that. Deserves that. Yes. Gorilla predicted the near post shot right there. Near post is really effective there, so that's why he predicted it. Love that he scores that. 
space to drive in. Let me see the let me just see the drag back real quick here. This is the the area right here. This is where you want to slow it down. Okay. Drag back, good. Heel to heel. That's that's not a good enough tackle to get the ball back. So I'm I'm okay with that. Another heel to heel. Drag back cut inside. Predicts the near post. Goes for the far post finesse. Beautiful. Nice goal. That's a really good goal. I like goals like that. Beautiful. That is what Tex can do. Very nice. Fantastic finish. Really, really good goal from Tex. What a goal, look. Get two men on him to open up that space. Heel to heel, I think, on two occasions. That's nice. Simple drag back, Richard. That's where you have to utilize Pele's like quick yeah, dribbling, right? Very, very fast in the skill moves. He's gone backwards and moved his analog stick to the right. So he's come back. Tex right now. 5 3. The score one. Superb stuff there from Tex. For the goal before half time could be clinical and huge for him. He's only two goals by now in aggregate. Added time to come now. One more minute on top of what we've had already. Block that middle, Tex. Can he find it on that Gotta block that middle, man. That is how it goes. Clinical and huge for him. He's only two goals by now in aggregate. Added time to come now. One more minute on top of what we've had already. 47 on the clock. Yeah, once he gets into that angle, like once he makes that pass, he has to be he has to be moving his goalie already. Huge for him. He's only two goals by now in aggregate. Added time to come now. One more minute on top of what we've had already. 47 on the clock. Rubel, can he find it on that finesse? And sometimes that is how it. On top of what we've had already. This is a kickoff goal. This is another because this 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 is the this is the problem right with competitive FIFA right here. The kickoff goals. Tex plays the situation so well, right? In the attack, scores a beautiful goal, and then his players just turn into idiots for defense. Like it's not people need to understand. Like it's, a kickoff is not an excuse. Like if you guys play this game yourself, your defenders are actually stupid, right? But when Tex is defending this, especially from that angle on the finesse shot, he has to he has to move his goalkeeper. That's the risk that he has to be willing to take. Once he gets here and he's not blocking the top part right away and he's making this pass, he's got to be moving his goalkeeper already. This should not be a thing in FIFA. It should not. The time finesses and the goalie movement, both of them need to go. Okay, these two things should not be a thing, right? But because it is a thing. It, it's what you have to do right now. He has to move his goalie there. That is how it goes. And then Ronaldinho, of course. Ronaldinho being Ronaldinho. The best thing you can do, Richard. Gorilla, the best thing you can do. Has scored pretty much instantaneously. Get back into the game and... Back to the drawing board for stats. Though. Don't look at the stats. Stats means nothing. Never look at the stats. Still, the free goal margin it appears. This is why competitive FIFA is a joke for me personally, because this the goals being scored are a convenience in terms of positioning. Like the time finesse is just it's a stupid thing, you know. Again, Richard, you mentioned it perfectly. Tech scores, really just repeats himself. Steven Gerrard from distance. If that's one man to dig him out this hole, I'm sure it'll be that Liverpool hero, that legend. Yeah, it's of course, Gerrard. an icon in the game. There's the header. There we go. Man to dig him out this hole. I'm sure it'll be that Liverpool hero, that legend. Yeah, it's of course, Gerard. an icon in the game. There's the header. Near post corner there. Also, not near post, but corners in general. When your player, when a player like Ronaldo is attacking it, does he does he manually use him? Let me see Gerard here. From distance, if that's one man to dig him out this hole, I'm sure it'll be that Liverpool hero, that legend. No, it just whips in a random one. In the game. There's the header. Deserves to score it because there's no goalie movement from uh, from uh, Gorilla to block that. The corners are random in general. It's just, it's completely random. See, like I said, this is game competitive. Like, this is the type of game, it's a convenience now, you know? It's not like, like, the, the goal that Tech scored was nice. The two goals that Gorilla scored in the first, like, those are nice goals. But these goals, these are just conveniences, you know what I mean? And a big goal for Tech, sir. This is, this is FIFA 19, ladies and gentlemen, right here. This is a game, this right here is a game anybody could win. Because the game, like, it is just, hey, if it falls to you, it falls to you, you know? Even call me off guard there. Guys. Okay, can use his 
I can't imagine being a pro player in this game. Go and score down the other end and just open up his uh, his lead back to a three 0 advantage. He's on the attack for the era for Ronaldinho. It bothers me to see those goals. You know what I mean? Because I just like like the goal that Tech scored, beautiful goal. The goal that Gorilla scored, um, the fr the first I can't remember the the one that scored in the second leg, but the first two that he scored in the first leg, good goals, right? But this like spread it all the way across now. Kickoff, boys. Kickoff, boys. Ooh, he didn't hit the first time finesse there. There it is. Oh, he predicted it that time. There it is. He predicted it that time. Now Tex is going to come forward once again. He can turn this game around, Richard. That'll show that he has got a lot about him. Only 17 years. He has got the minerals. 17 years of age as well. And I believe his fifth tournament on paper. Pele outside the pool. Oh my, I thought that actually went in for a second there. Yeah. Tournament on paper. Pele outside the pool. Oh my, I thought that actually went in for a second. He, uh, Pele, Pele lets Tex down here, Arch, 100%. And I believe his fifth tournament on paper. Pele outside the pool. Let's see, does Pele, does Pele avoid using weaker foot? Let's see. If he doesn't, then that's completely RNG from FIFA. That outside the foot shot should be a command. It should not be random. It's stupid. Four star weak foot, finesse shot trade. Doesn't have a voids weak foot. If he shoots that with his left foot, he should be shooting with his left foot. The way the ball is positioned, it makes no sense for him to go for the outside foot shot there. If it would make sense. If the outside foot shot was a specific mechanic and he went for it, and oh my god, my face cam looks ugly here. I'm going to fix that for later. Uh, but for that, no. His Pele needs to be shooting the ball with his left foot there. Oh my, I thought that actually went in for a second there. Yeah. Tex thought it did as well. Flash past the post. You know, looking back on pay three one, that's one in Barcelona, went to Manchester. It won't be a great shot. Even a four star from a distance, even with a really good player, it won't be a great shot, but it'll be accurate. You know what I'm saying? Especially with Pele. So it should be a goal there. That that should be a goal. Gorilla predicted the near post. He goes for the far post regular shot. It should 100% be a goal. That's a wide pass and a half. Oh, he, he saw that. He didn't make that pass. Didn't commit. That was good. He get around the right side of him. Yes, he has. Cristiano Ronaldo back to R9. Ronaldo again to R9 again. Fortunate with the bounces here, I think. Let me see. So there's one mechanic here that's really crap. This one right here, you'll see. And a lot of prize money as well. Drag backwards. That's a really shit mechanic. Okay. When you're defending EA, that should never happen. Okay. Even if you're, you, of course, of course, you're gonna be using your defender to look in your direction of the goal because that's the direction you have to go when you're defending. But when you get possession of the ball. Never, ever should they drag this ball. This little drag mechanic you have when you intercept the ball from defending, when he's, look, he's using him, right? And a lot of prize money as well. Never should they drag that ball. So that's for, unfortunate number one. He get around the right side of him. Yes, he has. Cristiano Ronaldo. Good pass. Deflection. The Def unfortunate thing number two. Ronaldo again, to R9 again. Good finish, but two unfortunate things for that to be for him to concede maybe, that. Maybe we could be on for a game here. Six. I told you guys man earlier, this is a convenience at this point. Okay, this game right here is FIFA 19, ladies and gentlemen. Five the score line. God, man, I would. Ugh. That's where this bit of doubt... It's, been, it's just been shit goals from both of them, but you got to take what you get, you know? It's mine now. He was 3 -0. We had that three goal lead. Is now he's gonna... only back to one. I'm interested to see, is he going to change formation? So he's putting balanced defensive on his right cam and left cam. That shows that I think he had to stay back while attacking on his left cam and right cam. Oh, okay, so defense. so he's switching, he's switching to balanced, like I said in the first video, because... Gorilla is winning this two-legged series right now, so he wants to have the left cam and right cam come back sometimes, right? He doesn't want them to always come back because he want he still wants to have an attacking presence, 
But that's why he puts them on balance. And he switches it with Neymar and Cruyff because he needs players with more stamina, right? So that they can run like crazy. He, he's not confident with only a one goal. Let's see what you got here. Press out to possession he loss. To get that back. He wants to depth one lower makes sense. Put his depth further back. So his back line's going to drop a little bit deeper. And there's going to be potentially with Tex moving on now. Last third of the game, he's going to put more players forward. But then out now to stop. You also get <laughs> this, is, this game is hilarious. You start defending more nervously. You're not putting in tackles. It just changes. That's how the mental side of FIFA can just completely change. Brilla from 3 0 up, feeling really confident, feeling really good. Is now only one goal in front. It's been a great game between the two. 6 5 on aggregate. Get rid of that. Great pressure from Gorilla. Really good pressure. Just needs to be careful that he's not pulling out too many people out of position, though. He's utilizing the space. He's not going for the first time pass right away because he needs to, uh, he needs to be calm. Yeah, really good pass as well from Real Fernand. Lovely, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Should have should have overcommitted the pass there on, in front, but that drag back was lovely. I love that. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Good defending. I like that. I like that a lot. Why pass there? Maybe utilizing the sides. No, those don't overcommit it. Nice. Half drag back to get the angle for the wide pass. Really nice. I like that. Oh, there it is. No, he can't freak out over that because his player. Listen. Listen. Manually defending. He is in front of him. This one, if this was a penalty, this would be complete bullshit. Two, his tackle should be way better here because this is just. This could be the chance. This could be That's crazy. just ridiculous, man. Come on. Oh, a referee. I thought that was look, a penalty. Look, 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 <laughs> it should never have been a penalty. That, that tackle should not happen. The ball's in front of him, EA. Why is he doing that tackle? In the box. He does well. Manual defending almost concedes a penalty. Could. Hey, the game's random with those ones, so he could concede one. Up the other end, looking to reinstate that two goal lead. Pull it. Look how he's moving that ball around. He deserves the, the deserves ball a block there. That was good. Why pass? Woo! That's how Gorilla defends a lot there it is. That's a cross and a half right there. He got physicals. Oh, finesse? No. Does Gorilla move his goalkeeper here? He does. Deserves to save that. Needed to be big, needed to be brave, and we'll send that out for a corner. Yeah, Gorilla moved him across a little bit across his goal, and then moved him quickly back to his left to cover that. Ah, he's using the four-two-three-one defensive version. So uh, when you use the left mids and the right mids, uh, it's more defensive than the than the four-two-three-one narrow. So Gorilla's lo looking for a more defensive approach now. So let's see the tactics that he has rolling here. He's uh, we're gonna slow this down real quick. Okay, so instructions, he has getting behind uh, and stay forward on the striker, which makes sense. He has stay back while attacking, cover the center for the CDMs. Come back on defense. Doesn't come back on defense. Stay wide. Stay wide. Stay back while attacking, okay. And then stay back while attacking. Stay on the edge of the box. Okay, so stay on the edge of the box because you don't want your cam to overcommit. So he's gonna he's gonna want his cam to be able to defend uh, properly going up and down the pitch. Um, and then he has his, he didn't tell he didn't tell his left mids and right mids to come back on the fence because he wants them to be in a more balanced position. So when you tell your players to come back on the fence, usually their positioning isn't that great, and you allow your two uh, what's the word your two. Uh, conservative right so you're allowing pressure on you so he doesn't want to allow too much pressure on him let's see if he changes the specific tactics with defending pressure on heavy touch so pressure on heavy touch to try to try to avoid the uh the finesse shots he has he has a lot of width for his attack so that it's easier to waste time if he ever gets possession of the ball if text gets it he wants to be on him squeezing quickly Hull it with the five star weak foot on the left side force. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't put Hazard. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Is that you? Yeah. For Ronaldinho? Oh, for more stamina. That makes sense. Physical presence on the side of Cruyff. 
Four triple two from Tex. On the edge of the D, and you know what happens when people get on that edge of the semicircle. Finesse shot heaven. Here we go. 20 minutes remaining for Tex to get a goal. Last 20 minutes in this one. Seeing round players on face cams as well. When it comes, there nearly a shot Maldini to Gerard. Can you imagine a Steven Gerard Thunderbolt from distance? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's that's the angle, ladies and gentlemen. Shot Maldini to Gerard. Can you imagine a Steven Gerard Thunderbolt? Did he move his goalkeeper here? Distance to to equalize. Didn't move his goalkeeper. This game, Ronaldo. It's in six six. Three goals down. The new kid on the block. But certainly, do not write him off. Little touch, little touch. Finesse shot. Got the corner. And you have the three goal desire. And if he can turn this around, what a story this is going to be. And you can see the confidence there. Hullet pressing it. Eusebio coming forward now. Grilly. Did he switch his tactics after he's after he went down? Or did he use the same 4 2 3 1? Now, that mental side of the game that's so underrated. Three goals down on two or three occasions. He's staying with the wide variation of the 4 2 3 1. Great resiliency to get back into the game. Good heart, desire. And if he can turn this around, what a story this is going to be. And you can see the confidence there. Hullet pressing it. Eusebio coming Good drag back. Really, you've just got to stand up and stand strong now. Should Thank never you. slide tackle there. Eusebio Ever. The if he scores this, yeah. Yeah, he deserves that. He deserves that. Coming forward now, Grilla, you've just got to stand up. That's a deserved stand goal. Now. Bring that experience through. Eusebio to the back post. Look at how he waits, dude. He waits to see what he's going to do with this goalkeeper. Which, by the way, is, again, will heavily emphasize this shit right here from 1v1s. No. He gets into that position on his right foot. Touch, finesse shot, goal. Every single time, bro. Every single time. With Pele, especially. Come on, man. He shouldn't have to wait and then shoot it. He shouldn't have to do that, okay? That, that's the, this right here is the last thing he should have to worry about when he's going to shoot, okay? Let him take that touch. Let him finesse shot it, finesse shoot it, because that looks proper. This just looks... This, guys, come on, man. This looks idiotic, bro. Look at this. Who does that, bro? Who does that? In real life, tell me. I want to. I want to know a goalie that's like doing this, and then the, and then the player waits. Oh, you're going that way. Okay, I'm gonna shoot for it. One v ones, man. Tex, hundred percent deserves to score this. But the way that it should happen, touch. You shoot it near post. You shoot it far post with a finesse. Do whatever you want. Should be going to the back of the net because this just looks idiotic. Just stand still with Pele. Wait for the goalkeeper movement. Now he's going for a three at the back. He was expecting a first time shot. He moved him all the way across. And then wow. as soon as it's got an open goal, just tap it into the he goal. Could have, he could have rushed that. He could have easily taken the... Stay well on the left mids. Uh, and he's telling the other players can be behind. He's going to put pr high pressure. And the confidence to do that in such a big game. Azebu should not be playing striker. To try and go into there you go. Your console final is such to get that okay, he puts quite... Uh, it makes more sense to put quite there, actually. And, uh, now, but team press. Okay. Things a big last ten minutes here. Gets a goal. This is I don't I don't, I didn't like reviewing this game. I'll be honest with you guys, man. Just under fifteen, I should say. Texas or to deserve to score the last goal. Stupid movement in general, but deserves to score that one. Lovely drag back from Tex. The gorilla scored like two kickoffs and three time finesse. This is just. You're looking at two of the best FIFA players in the world. People actually defend this game, by the way. You are in start, for yeah. a this is right. idiotic. <laughs> God, I, I just I keep remembering that text goal, right? The, 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 the heel to heel, heel to heel, and then the drag back cut inside. Oh, God. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see this garbage. Game is just going to deliver still. It'll be 14 goals we've seen if he can score this. Croy, he had the time now on his right foot. He's got. Really goes and gets. It's not. It's not. He had to time it, okay? Because he's a professional player. They're moving the goalies, you know. 
and this game is just going to deliver still it'll be 14 goals we've seen if he can score this Cruyff he had the time now on his right foot he's got the five star weak foot as well so he can go whichever way he wants to yeah he did the Cruyff turn wide pass oh, no. he's behind. through as well on iron has he got the legs on Maldini they're both tied they're both knackered after playing 79 minutes in this game Pele deflection out for a corner and off Oh, no. Played in, that's Pele at the front post. To the edge of the box, Rio Ferdinand. Maldini finesse. Oh my, if that just somehow drops him out, being very unfortunate. Back into the subs again. He's got 90. I know, I know he's going to play high pressure now. He's just going to push everybody high as much as possible. Left back flat air. This is when this is when you're vulnerable. So this is when people are like, "Oh my God, he scored three. When listen, guys, when you're down a goal or two in the last few minutes, it's it's no longer I lost three or four nil. It's it's um it's I had to commit to get the goals back. You know what I mean? There's a huge difference. Not really one person who stood out. That's why he has to overcommit here. Is he gonna be more vulnerable at the back? Absolutely, but he needs to get a goal back here. No one's going to be using those tactics for regular, regular play. This is only tournament three of this year. We're seeing games like this, huge performances like this. Here's Gorilla now. Neymar, full roll. Good defending there by Tex. The two Tex, straight back down the other end on the attack now. Quite unlucky there was Gorilla. He committed to the tackle, did Tex. I love that Steven Gerrard's involved in this game as well. Won the throw in though. He's going to get one more chance, he's Gorilla. We've seen late goals today already in the semi-finals. 2-1, 6-5, the score lines from the PS4 side. I think back to that game in Amsterdam between Nicholas Radic. Yeah, see how open his team is now? Game between the two and Gorilla was tested all the way to the What end is his player doing? What? <laughs> and Gorilla, that end-to-end -end game between the two and what? Gorilla was tested. <laughs> what is he doing? All the way to the end in that one in that two-legged game and he bounced back every single time with an answer. Tex, one more goal here. You've done it, surely. Pele stopped and turned through Eusebio. See, he shouldn't have to do that. Like, he did it again because he's looking at his goalie movement. Here, it, surely, That's why Pele he stops, guys. Stopped and turned through Eusebio. Pull it. To your savior again, added time to That's come. That's pure and idiotic, man. Fantastic comeback. Surely to win it now. All no. the way across. Rio Ferdinand, Gatois will clear. Added time now. Last few seconds. Last few game us. minutes now. Just keeping hold of the ball, his text. This text to lose, and what a turnaround. He was three goals down on two or three occasions in this two legged game. And this is the hype. This is all the hype about this kid. How good is he? How much can he be tested? And when his back's against the wall, he will come back with a big. Knockout blow. F2 Tex. Look at the passion there. He Is that why you guys want me to review that one? <laughs> you guys are hilarious, dude. I love you guys, man. <laughs> you guys want to review that one because you know what I'm going to do when I see those goals. Oh, man. Honestly, that's a tie game, guys. From proper FIFA, that's a tie game. Uh, no one was better than the other. It, that's, that's, as, that's as tie as it gets. You know? God, what an awful game of FIFA. That first game was, that first game was pretty balanced, man. You know, like, it's a tie game because Tech scored the, the last goal. Shouldn't have to do all that extra garbage because of this stupid-ass game, but scores a nice goal. Uh, his drag back was nice. Gorilla scored, like, three time finesse shots. That's why you guys want to review this one. Ah! Oh. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I'm gonna go review Moa Bubble Yang's gameplay. Hopefully, it's a little bit better than that. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace. Love you guys.